Thanks for coming in today. Let's admire the beauty of this area, Sedona, Arizona, in the sim real quick before we get started. Again, of course, this is also is one of Microsoft Flight Sim 2020's handcrafted airports. And I've been to this airport in real life now, not flying in, but I was there with a buddy of mine when I visited Arizona earlier this year. They did a phenomenal job making the airport look exactly as it does in real life. They did a phenomenal, outstanding job. So it's worth taking a note of and appreciating that. That work, that beauty. And then of course the scenery looks pretty good in the sim. Obviously looks 50 bajillion times better in real life. I have the great pictures and uh, had a great time in that uh, day that I spent in Sedona with my friend Ian, who I'm sure is planning on showing up in the stream at some point. So we are going to be flying out of Sedona, going to Jackson Hole, another beautiful place, but I've never been to Wyoming before. It's the only state in the contiguous U.S. that I've never been to before. It's Jackson Hole, Wyoming. I don't have the sound on yet because things were really loud. Um, so let's go ahead and turn the Microsoft Flight Sim 2020 sim sounds on. I realized in my last stream that the sim sounds were a little quiet, so I'm going to have them be a little louder. Even if it's more annoying in my headset, it'll sound better for the stream for you guys. But yeah, the airport itself looks phenomenal. They did a good job with the handcrafting on this one. Taxiway's a little crooked. But, um, looks exactly really as it should. And we're going to do some flying in the Citation. Our good old CJ4 that I've become obsessed with now that the mod has made it actually usable. So we'll be taking this baby for a ride once again. Yeah, yeah, we'll be taking this baby for a ride once again here. Oh, that's not what I want. I want to go into the cockpit since we're done with the views of the outside. There we go. Very good. All right, let's see. How are we doing here? Oh, I got to turn my new light on. There we go. So I could show up a little bit brighter to you guys. Match the red with the red. There we go. Perfect. You can actually see my face a little bit more now. Alright, let's get on track here. I'm losing my focus already. Let's turn the music on a little bit. Let's go ahead and start this airplane. Um, like I said, I'm going to do it the cheating way. I'm going to hit control E here in just a second. I think... just to get it fired up and then once we get this baby fired up we will uh, start uh, making our way well, at least getting the oops sorry about that chant at least uh, getting our way towards the destination here of Jackson Hole we're gonna have to get a clearance from Albuquerque Center who's online is gonna be covering Sedona at this time so we'll get the clearance from Albuquerque Center here um, so don't be an actual field, so it's going to be a hold for release clearance kind of deal. So we'll go through that process. And once we go through that process, we'll make our way. And I've got Sim Toolkit Pro is working with Microsoft Flight Sim 2020 now, which is nice. So you guys actually have some of the data there at the bottom near the cup. So that'll be good too. So, good things. Good things are happening. We've got Rex Weather Force up as I always do as well. We got real weather. The time is not real time. I'm flying in the daytime just because I had a preference. I prefer to fly in the daytime. Uh, so I will not be doing any kind of night flying tonight. But all right, now that we've got the airplane started, we're gonna brighten these babies up so I can actually see what I'm doing here. Turn this baby on. Make sure our things are as bright as they can be, because my eyes are terrible. 
All right. My eyes are actually not terrible at 2020 vision, but the sim makes this so small for some reason, chat. So my eyes are not actually terrible. Nobody report me to the feds. My eyes are actually perfectly fine. Thank you. Ooh, look, someone just took off out of here. You see that, chat? That's pretty awesome. Right on the top left corner there. All right, we need to talk to someone, like I said. We need to talk to Albuquerque Center, so let's do that. 127.850. Albuquerque Center, citation 124, Mike Charlie on the ground at Sedona. Like a clearance to Jackson Hole with the hold for release. Delta 784, contact Los Angeles Center 118.02. 118.02, good day, 784. Papa, Papa, Bravo, India, radar contact, I maintain flight level 210. 210, Alpha, Bravo, India. Center citation one two four. My trolley on the ground. That's Sedona clearance to Jackson Hole. Blocked. <clears throat> All right, aircraft on the ground at uh, Sedona. Say again your call sign. Citation one two four. Mike Charlie. Citation 124, Mike Charlie, Albuquerque Center, you're clear to the Jackson Hole Airport, Red Directors Dean, Venice Files, maintain 16,000, expect flight level 370. One zero minutes after departure, uh, departure is going to be with me, Squawk 0757. All right, we're clear to Jackson Hole, Vectors Dean, 116,000 for the initial 37010, departure with you 0757, and uh, hold for release for Citation 124, Mike Charlie. Citation 4, Mike Charlie, your readback is correct. Frequency change approved. Call me short of the runway when ready to go. 4, Mike Charlie, thank you. The wind is calm. It's Dona. It's going to be runway 21 because that's going to be the most convenient, I believe, for us, chat. Or what runway? Yeah. Uncontrolled field, so we can do what we want. So we're going to go runway 21. It's going to be the most convenient for us. Unless, I don't know, is it safe to depart or arrive a specific runway? So I don't know. I forget. Let's see. Oh, no. Runway 3 is common runway. Well, there it is. Right in the Notams chat. Runway 3 is common runway, so we're going to depart off of runway 3 here at Sedona. Well, good thing I looked. By the way, here's our route. We're going to be taking off here out of Sedona and pretty much flying almost due northbound up to Jackson Hole. A little breezy and a little bit overcast at Jackson Hole. And we got all these kind of mountains and everything that we're going to be seeing along the way here as we cruise at flight uh, level 370 on our way up. Out for your descent in we're looking LA. at about, it's probably going to be a little less than an hour and a half flight by the time we actually anyway, get up there and get up to uh, speed. Let me see if I can get you over to them a little early. It's like we do have one of our buddies on the ground in the flying club. Might be joining us. Yeah, I have some connection to shoot. Right here. Yeah. But all right, we've got our clearance, so let's go ahead and put it in the box chat instead of dilly-dallying here. Um, everything is current. Let's go ahead and get that in there. Flight plan, we've got K-S-E-Z to K-J-A-C. We have no alternate. We're not planning on that. We're not doing the Oats departure out of here. Uh, We're just departing off runway 3. Uh, Southwest 104. Uh, we'd like to uh, mend our cruise altitude today at flight level 360 Dean available. Delta Southwest Echo Alpha, Alpha November, November. 360 for 104. To L-O Lofog. To Urco. Legion twenty one fifty one contact Los Angeles Center one one eight point zero two. Oroco, however you want to say that, right there, and then it's gonna be direct to Jackson Hole. So we'll execute that. The wind at Jackson Hole, let's take a look what we got going on over at Jackson Hole chat. Um 
170 at 21 gust 27. So they're going to be landing south over at Jackson Hole. What does that mean for us in terms of approaches? It means they're going to be landing ILS to runway 9. So let's see. There's an ILS Yankee and a Zulu. Let's see what the sim has. It has both. So let me look at these real quick on my other screen here. We have the ILS Yankee. Goes down to 700. The ILS Zulu goes down all the way. And the Zulu kind of gives you like a little turn in too. I think we're going to plan on doing the ILS to Zulu chat. I think that's going to be the more entertaining one should we get up there. Because when we can always go to this... Um, what would the initial approach fix be, I guess? Um, I don't know. It doesn't really say. It just gives us an intermediate fix. But either way, we're going to plan on doing, I think, the ILS to Zulu uh, to runway 19. So we'll put that in the box. We'll do the DNW transition. We'll get that in the box just to have it, just in case. So that way we can always potentially go direct to that if there is no ATC online chat. All right, so that's in. ILS 19, Zulu, DNW, that's all in the box. So that's all set. We should have runway 3 to Dean to Defog, Uko, Jax, yep, DNW, Zibov, all that is correct. So the box is all set up and ready to go. Um, Let's go ahead and do uh, our first initial. I got two packs, 150 pounds. I just leave what the default says every time. Approach on so that's going to be our gross weight right there, 15,399. We're going to go up to 370 as our cruise. So let me throw that up there. Boom. Bear wings, 26, 24. Take off. Uh, the, the wind is calm. Is landing west, the altimeter 2992. Well, I guess you have to do this. The wind is calm here at Sedona. The temperature at Sedona. If I take a look at that, is 18. Oh man, I wish I was there right now. It's way warmer than where I'm at. That's for sure, chat. 18 degrees sounds pretty good. American 791. It's a dry runway. Everything's center. good. We'll send those numbers Welcome. away. We'll worry about the approach stuff later because we got a nice lengthy flight. So those numbers are in the box. Um, the flight plan all good. The legs there. Everything looks like it's all set up. Then on the box end. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and over here on this uh, lower menu, we're going to go into present position. Push that so I can kind of get an idea where I'm at there. We'll zoom out. You can see we're pretty much just going to be flying almost due north the whole way, but there's a few fixes in there that we'll worry about. Um, I would say that the airplane is ready to go. Albuquerque Center, American 721. Will you flight level 410? Uh, Steve PHL, I know you're kind of in the chat, and I see you as well uh, loading up. Uh, as well in the sim, so I'll give you a couple minutes before I actually start moving. One radar contact two seven miles southwest of Drake. Joshua McCreary, and thirty eight. Oh, and Albuquerque Center citation three one Tango Charlie is ready for taxi at Deer Valley Sorry. two five left. Have to yell at some people. You're taxiing okay, so now already. Oh, okay. Charlie, I don't. You don't. I'm not showing you has a having a flight plan on the Vatsim, Steve. Just so you know. Two eight six five. And there is ATC. I don't know if you're. I don't know if you're going VFR or not. I'm going IFR, but. Um, Don't know how you're playing that. But all right, I guess I'll taxi out then. What's their point of waiting? Boom, boom, boom. Oh. She was ready to roll right off the bat there, chat. Well, there's 914. Now we center. Go ahead. So runway three, we're going to have to taxi out uh, to our left here. Uh, no, we're going to go straight out over that way, it looks like. Well, there's 914. Yeah, I still got you. Because we're facing okay, south. You. Yeah, we're going to go the other way, so we're going to taxi out this way. So we actually need to be Blank talking on uh, Unicom here on the ground at Sedona. Nine or, nine or eight. Before we get and talk to the center when we're number one short of the runway. So we're going to have to do some frequency flopping here. I guess I could really take a look at our approach fix. Uh, Charlie, 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 Charlie,
I don't really want to use the COM1, COM2 thing because I'm just going to fuse myself. So I'm just going to flop the frequencies. Should probably also put our initial altitude of 1616,000 in the box. Get the altimeter to get all nice and matched up with uh, active or uh, Rex Weather Force, excuse me. We're going to have to give room for this Cessna that's parked in a terrible spot right here. So let me make sure my wing clears him. There we go. Sedona traffic citation, one, two, four, Mike Charlie, taxi and runway three, Sedona. Gonna be a right turn here again, runway three, calm wind runway, and then the wind is calm here, so we're going with that. Wanted to be wheels up right about now, so we're pretty close, Jen. Pretty close to the time I was hoping for. And just a really beautiful airport. Would love to fly in here, physically fly in here in real life at some point. Again, I've been to the airport, but I was here on foot. Did not fly in. Um, wouldn't mind flying into this airport at some point in my lifetime. It's like this doesn't go all the way to the end here. So, we'll have plenty of runway though, so I'm actually going to just take it from the intersection of Alpha Heat. There should be plenty of runway for us to handle from this intersection right here with this citation. This thing really does not take any time at all to get off the ground. It is a, it's a beautiful thing how quickly this thing really wants to get up and get into the air. Um, so, let's go ahead and... Uh, Talk to the center again. Center, citation one, two, four, Mike Charlie is number one, runway three at Sedona, ready for departure. Citation one, two, four, Mike Charlie. Um, Phoenix approach to sign on. He will give you your uh, departure release. You can contact him, one, two, eight, point six, five. All right, one, two, eight, six, five for four, Mike Charlie. Oh, 122.8 in the recall here. Approach citation 124, Mike Charlie. Holding short of runway 3 at Sedona, ready for departure number 1. Citation 3, can go, uh, Uh, citation 1, Tango Charlie on departure fly runway heading Deer Valley Wind uh, 2205, runway 25 left, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, 25 left, 31 Tango Charlie. Look at that. I believe that was Steve that just took off VFR, I guess. And approach citation one two four Mike Charlie on the ground at Sedona, number one runway three looking for IFR release. Uh, uh, number one two four Mike Charlie release for departure time now zero 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 three clearance to not avoid if not off in five minutes three change of crew. I will give you a call within five four Mike Charlie thank you released. All right so we got to go back to uh, one two two point eight. Let the Unicom know we're departing, chat. Zona traffic, citation 124, Mike Charlie is going to be departing at runway 3. It'll be a left turn on course. Sedona traffic. Actually, there's 3, a left or a right downwind. You probably should have looked at that. Just, it is left, so it'll be a left turn. Traffic uh, citation is at 9,700 departing traffic area to the north. Oh, what is this? We don't want sim lags like that. Come on now. 
All right, chat, are we ready? Are we set? Let's go ahead and go. Oh, veto static. Sorry. Sorry, airplane. I got you. Let's go, for real. She goes, positive rate, got the gear up. Oh, you know what, Chad? I didn't set the flaps. I am an idiot. That's probably why she had a hard time getting off the runway there, but I guess since the flaps are already up. Sonar traffic, citation for my trolley, left turn to the north, departing the area, last call, said Zedona Trap. Not my smartest moves there, Chad. Not at all, but we'll go ahead and slap the autopilot on. We're going to go flight level change. We're going to do speed of 240 for now. Let's go ahead and talk to the departure controller. And departure citation 124 Mike Charlie is off of Sedona 6700 for 1616000 in the left turn towards Dean. Actually. Uh, November 4, Mike Charlie, thanks for your contact. Uh, three and a half to the north of Sedona Field. Climb maintain flight level 210 when able to direct Dean. 210 and when able to direct Dean for my Charlie. Man, I don't know where I'm going, chat, because I was already going the wrong way. We gotta go direct to Dean. D E A N N. No idea what I was doing here. I'm just a hot mess right now, chat. Let's go ahead and get the nav going. We're directing. And we're climbing up to 210. That's set. And we're going to go ahead and do 250 on the speed for the flight level change now. Rob Valkyrie, thanks American for coming in today. 18, Departing yeah, beautiful Sedona. On our way to Jackson Hole. That is very beautiful. Going, looking back at that, all the red rock. It was very nice when I got to see this place in person. Uh, and I would love, love, love very much to go back in the near future. And I'm sure I will. I'm sure my buddy Ian will have me back and we'll go back up to Sedona at some point. So. I am hooked. Yeah, I am obsessed with this aircraft now. Although the next time I stream, I'll try and do a little bit more variety. Because I've been abusing the, this thing, but I was just in the mood to get back into it tonight. And uh, also now that I've got Sim Toolkit Pro is working again with Flight Sim 2020, I've got all the stats down there and everything. So it's it's pretty neat. The stream is starting to become a little bit more professional, one step at a time. Go ahead and go into that view and that. Let's see. Let's go ahead right there. That's going to be the guy we want out the right wing tonight. American 2318 Phoenix Field, 11 o'clock, 1 2 mile tall field. Unfortunately, I'm not really a big fan of the uh, 145 uh, sim on an X plane. So, uh, yeah. Probably won't stream that. American 2318, fly heading 290, Phoenix Field. Uh, one o'clock, one. I get enough of that flying that in real life, even though I haven't been flying it a whole lot in real life. But uh, uh, turn left heading uh, two nine zero, uh, call the field in sight, American twenty three eight eight. Maybe some time off the stream, Rob. I'll uh, get you in person and uh, we'll uh, we'll do a little American flight for you. Eight, I'll do a little flight for you and tell you kind of American some of the processes that I do. Uh, with uh, the airline that I fly for. Please visual you approach from my two six American. Yeah, hopefully I'll be able to meet you in one day in real world life as well. Maybe I'll fly your airplane or something like that. That would be pretty cool. I would love at some point in my life to be able to fly some virtue say flying club people. It would be an awesome thing. Location one tango Charlie contact Albuquerque Center one two seven eight five good flight. Two seven eight five through one tango Charlie, see ya. All right, we're coming up through uh, 
18, let's go ahead and set 2992. Wing, call, clear to land. Clear to land, American 2389. Let's go ahead and bring the vertical speed down a bit. We'll go 2,000 feet a minute for now. <laughs> You're going to be the one, oh boy, well, good thing we have air sick bags on the airplanes. That's all I have to say about that, I guess. <laughs> yeah, Wes is a registered nurse. He's an RN, so. It would make sense for him to have gotten it. Goodbye to Sedona. Hello to whatever mountain this is. November 4, Mike Charlie, contact Albuquerque Center 12785, good flight. 12785 for Mike Charlie, see? Altitude. Untangle Charlie. Albuquerque Center, good evening, citation 124, Mike Charlie, flight level 202 for 210. Number 124, Mike Charlie, Albuquerque Center, climate change, level 370. 370 for Mike Charlie. There we go, chat. Keep that there climb going. 41, requesting flight level 370. Arizona Snow Bowl, yep. Yeah. Sent will be streaming this bird for the first time at 8 p.m. Well, right, 441, climate change, level 370. You guys can enjoy it with me for now, and then we'll have to go and give him a little hosty host when I'm all done getting into Jackson Hole. So, I'm going to be the. Uh, <coughs> I'll be the undercard to uh, Slan Alpha's main event. Because I definitely know what my place is in the Twitch hierarchy right now when it comes to Simmers. He definitely outranks me. And that's fine, as it should be. He's been doing the streaming stuff a lot longer than I have, so... I appreciate you saying that, Rob. Thank you. Making me feel better already. So this won't be a super long stream. Polaris 914, contact Valley Center 118.02. Uh, because I'm just going to do this one leg. It's going to be this one leg from Sedona to Jackson Hole, and then when we get to Jackson Hole, call it good. And like I said, we'll head over and check out Rob uh, Shroomer Jr. and his uh, escapades in this uh, aircraft that he's planning on doing. So. Said I'm just I'm the warm up. It's like we should get some tailwind. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit of tailwind. Just giving me ten knots on the tail for now. Should pick up I think when we get a little bit higher up in altitude. Yeah, it's not gonna be it's not gonna be a super long flight. Getting up to Jackson Hole actually this evening. Be going at a pretty good clip. We're we'll going at a pretty good pace. I wish there was a more ATC online, like Salt Lake Center, to cover us in a Jackson Hole. Uh, but a worst case, if uh, Salt Lake City Center does not come online, we'll uh, do that ILS Zulu all the way from that VOR that kind of is, acts as initial approach fix, and we'll go go from there. Two Albuquerque Center, right of contact. Because they're going to be landing, landing south for sure over at Jackson Hole with the wind that they've got going on right now. Right now the wind at Jackson Hole is, and I'll show you you guys in the chat. Here's the full weather at Jackson Hole right now is wind 260 at 6. Uh, so 1.9 is still the appropriate runway. 10 miles overcast, 3,000. Temperature's 3, dew point 0, altimeter 3, 008. So, yeah, nothing super fancy going on over there right now. Just, just a little tiny bit of marginal VFR, but nothing extreme. American 2, radar contact, climb, maintain, final level 370. 370, I think we're going to restrict the 8,000, minus 1,000, 3,000, 0. Usually uses 1,9, yeah, that would be sense. Negative, it's 1,000 on initial, out of Albuquerque, so you're fine. Thanks. Boeing 701, radio check.
Kenny Monster, thanks for coming in today. And then Pilot23. Ian, my man, thank you for the five-month resub. I appreciate it. Thanks for coming in today. Much appreciated, my good man. You got two stripes on your bars now for being a over a three-month subscriber. Which I guess you would have already had that, but we got a one stripe, we got a three stripe, we got a couple two stripes. We don't have any four stripes yet, but we're getting there. Four stripe be over a year, so nice Grand Canyon view ahead. Let's take a look outside then and see what the man. Oh yeah, all right. You look at that. So we're gonna have to go into uh, the the other window here. To look out that window, that looks like it's gonna be the one with the better view. So we'll have that set up. Uh, Al South, am I? Thanks for coming in today. We have just taken off out of Sedona and we're flying to Jackson Hole in the CJ4. And uh, Melvin Leroy also checking in as well. Brant, good to see you. Thanks for coming in today, guys. Good to see a bunch of familiar faces. Always love it. We're in our green CJ4 today. And we are flying, like I said, from Sedona. Charlie, contact Alex Center 18.02. 1802 for my Charlie, thanks. We're gonna do this che the cheating way. Center, good evening, citation 12 for my Charlie. Flight level 286 for 370. 124 for my Charlie, LA Center, hello, climb maintain, flight level 370. 370 for my Charlie. Hopefully, Salt Lake Center comes online between now and by the time I get to Jack Center. That would be sweet. Then we could have ATC all the way, but right now, Salt Lake Center is offline, so we might be going to Unicom here after uh, LA Center. Just installed the model. Look forward to trying it. Yes, it is great, Melvin. I, I'm loving it. There's still glitches. It's there's still going to be some things that it's you're going to be like, what is it doing? It's a little wonky at times here and there, but for the most part, it's good now. It's usable and serviceable, and I like it. I mean, this is probably what this is going to be my third or fourth straight flight sim stream using it. So yeah, I don't know if you guys can tell if I like it or not. Uh, I will promise to do some other aircraft in the next stream so that I can give you guys a little bit of variety, but. uh definitely enjoying this airplane this is really the first time i'm getting it up into the higher flight levels too on the stream we're doing a somewhat lengthier flight here going to jackson hole double 36 18 what's your cruise mock number let's bring this down to a thousand feet a minute here since we're losing a little bit of speed sorry united 36 18 say cruise mock doing a fast cruise climb here Point seven eight. We've already kind of blown past our buddy Steve in his uh, 550. Yeah, 3615, is that the best you can do? We definitely got him in terms of pace in the CJ3. So we're in a slow tation, but he's in a slower tation. I don't have the badumpt thing on my soundboard, but I probably should, because that was a terrible joke. Bear wings, 112, LA Center, hello. Vacation Melvin. Doesn't quite roll off the tongue. Bear wings, 112, squawk but that, what to me, I assume that he is on the holiday vacation and he doesn't have to work anymore until after the holidays, so. Good for you, Mr. Leroy. I'm still on reserve the next couple of days for work, but I don't think I'm going to be used at this point. So over the next yeah. couple of days. You never know, though. We'll see. They could still potentially call me tomorrow. Uh, 1034 LA Center, low climb, maintain 14,000.
There's a nice view of the uh, canyon here. Let's go ahead and get back into that uh, showcase cam and take the view from the wing. Bearing 112, radar contact. Approximately five, zero miles northeast of St. George. I don't have a flight plan for you. Can you read file, please? There go. Stay ready for two. Yeah, never simmed in. Really. Our citation 31 Tango Charlie. Doesn't look a whole heck of a lot different up at altitude compared to the ortho for XP on X plane. When you're this high. Still a little bit lower more detail because it has a higher Charlie zoom level. Center, but, um, looks good. No doubt about it. The sim is, uh, definitely good in the looks department. And it's slowly getting better in the functionality department. We got an aircraft like this now that's actually usable. For what we want in terms of the IFR stuff, so uh, you know, life is getting good. Can't really complain too whole much, uh, too much, too whole much. Apparently, I'm just not gonna be able to English very well tonight, chat. Apologize for that. Coming up close to Dean here. Looks like we get to our final cruise before we get to that Dean fix. Get a good view of the airplane in the Colorado River this way. I believe that's Colorado River digging through there. A lot of barren land out this way, though. <clears throat> Bay K Leroy. Hey, that's a little bit better, actually. Not gonna lie. Rolls off the tongue a little better. I'm not gonna say it's great, but it's better. 2161 Juliet contact SoCal approach on 124.5. Okay, I'm praying for Salt Lake Center to come online. And they did! Oh, chat! Salt Lake Center came online. Oh, Let's go. We're going to have full ATC all the way. Digging it. Three, one, Tango Charlie, descend via the lucky one arrival altimeter. At Let's go. Excellent. Descend via the lucky one arrival altimeter 2996. One Tango Charlie. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good evening. LA Center uh, Frontier Flight 2070. Uh, at 12,000 for 9,000, 19,000. Question 3322 LA. Almost up at our cruise altitude chat. We're getting there. Altimeter. She's, she's fighting her way with what she's got to get up there. Frontier flight 2070 LA center. Hello, climb maintain flight level 310. 310 for Frontier. Giving her all the juice she's got. About 1,500 feet remaining. United 3618, cross Quar intersection at a maintain 1313,000. In the transition, maintain 36 for 37. You can delete the speed restriction at Quar. Thank you. Roger, uh, cross Quar at 13,000. United 3618, in the transition, maintain 280 knots or greater. You do not need to comply with the 250 speed restriction at Quar. Roger. All right, I'm very happy that uh, Salt Lake City Center is online now. It gives me uh, full ATC the whole way in as long as they stay on for the whole time that I get there, hopefully. Good stuff, chat. Good stuff. Makes it more enjoyable for you guys, I imagine, too, to have that ATC, to kind of have that realism while I'm flying along here as well. So I love that. That's why I love Wait till the airplane levels off here, get the airspeed up, so I can get my power settings right where I want them to be, and then we'll uh, be swapping views in and out so you guys can get a good look outside at the time, like right here.
It's going to be just a lot of barren land at this point, but Bear wings, 18, 7, mountainous at least, not super flat, so something. There we go. We are up at our altitude of 370. FedEx 180, Vegas altimeter 3002. It should be 2992. That's what we should be at in terms of the altimeter there. We're going to let the airplane speed up a little bit before we pull it back into the cruise detent. Uh, I like to send a jump to 146, climbing through uh, 13,000. Alaska 1034, connect so Cal approach from 119.6. Good day. JetBlue 146, LA Center, hello, climb, maintain, flight level 330. Going up 330, JetBlue 146. Jackson Hole is pretty busy, you got six departures on the ground over there. Mojo 11, connect to Albuquerque Center, 127.85, good day. And over to Albuquerque Center, have a good day, Mojo 11. Speed's still trying to get its way up there, so we'll leave it in this climb power for now. Actually, we'll pull it back to the cruise power. Where is the cruise detent? There's the cruise detent. Okay. Very good. hard because I don't have actual detents on my throttles, obviously, for the uh, Logitech, so. Can be a little tricky. There's lots of land out here. Off the mountainous areas, rivers, creek coming through. Not really a whole lot in terms of houses or towns or anything, really, in this, this part of the country. The scenery does look impressive, though. You can never fault this sim for its looks. You can certainly fault it for a lot of other things, but its looks is not one of them. What are we looking at here in terms of Salt Lake Center 127, correction one two zero point two seven today. One two zero two seven for Mike Charlie see it. Salt Lake Center, good evening. Citation 124, Mike Charlie, flight level 370. Frontier flight 365, folks, down there, clearing bundle, climb the 25. Break, break, the number 124, Mike Charlie, Salt Lake Center, welcome. So this controller is a little quiet. November 349 Mike Mike, or correction, November 3499 Mike, contact, uh, miles west of the And there's our buddy Steve. Flying with us at Jackson Hole. He's in a slow rotation, so we're gonna beat him by quite a bit. Go back into our uh, showcase cam and get the view from the wing there. Oh yeah, that looks really nice. Very realistic kind of view there. Actually, let me make sure I'm not over speeding first before I do that. So my speed is holding right at about the maximum. Yeah, perfect. So we can go ahead and get our wing view here for a little bit. I believe we just crossed our first fix of Dean. We're getting a little bit of turn action here. Frontier flight 365. Excellent. Probably pretty nice in the back here. Feeling pretty comfortable, I bet. By the Alpine 2 departure, kick as Bob. Time by a SID, except maintain one five thousand. Departure with frequency to one six zero six one. 
terms of ETA, what are we looking at here? We're looking at getting to Jackson Hole, about 50 minutes. It's not bad. So we got some time in cruise to kind of hang out. That's a pretty good screenshot right there, I think. I'm going to take it. I apologize for the screen going, pausing for one second while I take this screenshot. Throw that into the Virtuous A Flying Club Discord. Very nice. Delta 9871, so I Looks like this thing gets to about like 0 .77, 0 .78 as its max cruise speed, which is not bad. It's the same as what the beach jet was and same as the Ember 145 that I fly, so it's about the same max speed. CJ3 when I flew it, um, is slower. The CJ3 only did a Mach 0.73 as a max. That thing was definitely a slower tation. See, that's going to be one of my new phrases now. Slower tation. <laughs> See who else is streaming tonight, chat. We've got Starflies, looks like she's streaming. We've got Live Fly Guy is streaming. Bush League Legends has got their stream going. A couple other people that are not flight sim related that I follow. We don't have to worry about them. But uh, oh, what's uh, what do we got going on here, Starflies? She's, uh, that's, I guess she's doing, like, some Cyberpunk 2077 themed whatever she's got going on here. So that's, it's a little weird, not gonna lie, but, all right. Another good streamer, though. You should definitely, uh, check her out if you haven't already. Kenny Monster got caught in between streams. He was actually supposed to be in, uh, Starfly's chat, and he ended up typing my chat. I messed him up chat i got him i got kenny monster with the streamception we got him <laughs> i fooled him thinking he was in her stream while i was watching her stream through my stream and then he typed in my stream but yeah if you haven't already make sure to check out starfly she's a very good flight sim streamer as well does a lot of ga stuff she does a lot of stick and rudder stuff too she's a very anti-autopilot so definitely give her a check out if you haven't done so already I just whacked myself in the tooth with my water bottle. It's not loose, we're good. Unbelievable, chat. I'm a walking disaster sometimes. Just remember, they let me fly airplanes. <laughs> A little bit of snow on these mountains as my voice cracks. I like that the sim does kind of give that a little bit of snow effect. Definitely uh, something that uh, was always very lacking uh, in uh, X Plane 11. Kind of having that seasonal effect with the snow up in the mountains like that. So uh, another plus one for Microsoft Flight Sim 2020 in the visual department. It definitely wins in the visual department. What is my ground speed? You should see my speed. So I think my ground speed is listed. If you're looking at my stream, Steve, that uh, that speed that I have listed there on the little thing at the bottom, 
is uh, my ground speed, so it looks like I'm doing 445. I did not put the snow in there manually, Melvin Leroy. No, the sim did that on its own. Those snow that you see on the mountains, that's the sim. The sim has done that on its own. So that's uh, that's pretty neat. I didn't know if it was going to do that or not, but it does. Yeah, my citation is my slotation is just a little bit faster than your slotation, my friend. Just a little bit. So I'm definitely gonna get to Jackson Hole a little bit faster than you. We might end up getting the ILS Yankee instead of the ILS Zulu with the controller on, but that's fine. It's not gonna make any difference. It'd be just a couple of clicks in the uh, the box there, and we'll be all set for that too. Two slows make a f no, no. They're still both pretty slow. I mean, granted, Mach point seven eight is about as like I said. That's the max speed on my Embraer one forty five two, and this CJ four apparently does point seven eight as its max. The CJ three that I flew only did point seven three. That was much slower. And uh, arrow one zero eight. Uh, how is your call? So once again, I am just the uh, warm up tonight. I'm the warm up act tonight, chat, because uh, Slan Alpha Adventures. My good friend Rob Sherman Jr. is also going to be streaming the uh, Slotation tonight, apparently. It's going to be his first stream using this modded CJ4. So uh, we're going to be checking him out after uh, I land over in Jackson Hole. So I uh, consider myself the undercard tonight. The warm-up act, whatever you want to call it, for uh, Mr. Rob Sherman Jr. He's going to be taking the uh, his show on the road with this bad girl. I think he's... Starting at about 8 o'clock Eastern. Which is his normal start time, I believe. Excuse me, chat. So, you guys are stuck with me for now. And, uh, I'll probably... It's gonna lag a little bit, because I'm still about... What is that? 47 minutes out-ish from, uh, Jackson Hole, so... I won't judge you if you go to his stream over mine, though. Oh, while I'm thinking of it, I should probably turn my landing rate meter on, chat. I almost forgot. There we go. That way I can actually have a landing rate for the one and only landing that I'm doing in Jacksonville tonight. I'm glad I remembered that. Let's go back and take a look at the uh, wing view here for my passenger. You definitely see the snow on the mountain there. It's pretty neat. Like I said, the Sim's doing that all on its own, and that's a, it's a plus one, because X-Plane lacks that, for sure. X-Plane does not have the seasons. Delta 152, Charlie Center, go ahead. Delta 152, uh, request to clear to Delta 152, clear to the Aspen Airport, via the Alpine 2 departure. Kick me as followed. We're getting warmer here. That's us right here. Going to Jackson Hole. You see they got five guys on the ground over there. They're all going to Aspen. All five of those guys on the ground. But, uh, we got our buddy Steve in tow behind us here. He's doing oh, about 30 knots slower than we are. So we're going to gain a little bit more of a gap on him even still. We got Bob Lindsay on uh, Salt Lake Center giving us the ATC tonight. We appreciate that much as always. Always appreciate any of the ATC that we uh, get off of that sim for our journeys, and I'm glad he signed on when he did, because he'll be getting us into Jackson Hole. Pretty smooth ride up here. I haven't noticed any kind of bumps or turbulence so far riding in the back, at least, or even up in the front. So we got smooth ride here up at uh, 370 until I open my mouth, and now I look at the cockpit. Now it's shaking just a little bit. I open my mouth and the light chop just shows up. But that's nothing more than just a little light chop. That's not going to do us any di any problems. It's not going to be that uncomfortable either. It almost looks like it's not even constant. It looks like it's just kind of intermediate light chop. So I think we're going to ride out to 370. Nothing to really uh, concern ourselves with there.
Ah, I'm all the way up to 38 yeah, sub points. That's pretty points. good. The next uh, next emote slot is gonna be 50, so that might be a that might be hard to get to. Um, I think I'm I'm pretty happy with the fact that I have apparently 38 subscribers right now. I think 50 might be a bit of a stretch for another emote. I don't even know what I would do for another emote at this point. I'll be honest with you guys. Kind of tapped out of ideas in the meantime. I've got Delilah. I've got a crash. I've got the vet flying club logo. I've got my logo. So. Uh, X plane is drawing your contrails. Oh, well, nice. Enjoy my dust, buddy. Eat my dust. <laughs> cool, A Jammer. Thanks for coming in today. In the slotation once again. It looks good in green. I think, but this green is the best one so far that I've done. I've tried the red, I've tried the blue, and now the green. I think I like the green the most, Chad. Not gonna lie. Might stick with that one in the future. Say again, Delta 845. Delta 845, Salt Lake Center, 1033. 6033 in the box, Delta 845. You see your Aspen pick? Uh, hold on, let me go back in there. Yes, I did. Yes, I did, my friend. That is the uh, handcrafted Aspen in Microsoft Flight Sim 2020, which looks, that's exactly what it looks like in real life, by the way. That log cabin style, that Atlantic FBO. Uh, I've been to Aspen in real life, and that is what it looks like. And so they did a very nice job with that. And yeah, that was a nice shot that you had there uh, in the Citation. You're also flying the Citation. Look at that. This is the uh, picture that our uh, buddy Kool Aid Jammer is talking about. It's a very nice shot. Again, Aspen looks very good in the sim, and you can see the snow. So, Melvin Leroy, if you're still in the chat, again, this the sim and Aspen, it's got the snow on the ground and all that going on, so uh, it's pretty impressive. It's not something I was expecting from uh, Flight Sim 2020. Direct Corver and maintain 230 for Delta 8. So there are, like I said, when it comes to just the visuals, Microsoft Flight Sim 2020, it gets it right every time. It's just everything else that they still need to work on a lot. Yeah, we're super sorry about that. Oh yeah, they can see all the snow on the tops of the mountains and everything. It's a, it's a very good visual to have in the sim. Especially when I flip through here, I'll go into the showcase cam and you look out the wing and you kind of, well, maybe not in this direction, you don't really see a whole lot of the snow tops, but... Impressive stuff. Delta 2087, contact Seattle Center. You know, and obviously now that we have a workable citation, it's just making the sim better and better slowly. Now they just need to keep it up. Hopefully, more good payware GA aircraft will start coming out soon. Delta 1 Alpha. Uh, follow the uh, Frontier A319. Follow the Frontier Solid Center, United 234. Uh, we're uh, Alpha 7. Uh, just calling to see if we uh, should call for uh, pushback, just the way the uh, push might end up being. Just wanted to ask for uh, push and start appearance and then uh, runway 4 departure expect. Uh, United 234, are you going to be pushing on to the Good chance that it might yeah, I have uh, zero dropped frames so far in this stream, Kenny Monster. Hopefully it stays that way, but so far so good. All right, uh, we'll push back onto hotel and we'll face North United 234. Hopefully that stays this way all night long. Or at least for the rest of the stream. Got about uh, 35 minutes left, it looks like, en route. So I figure about 45, 50 minutes left in the actual stream by the time I slow down, land, do a little viewing around the Jackson Hole area and the drone cam before we hand it off to our Slant Alpha Adventures. Delta 710, Salt Lake Center, 710, could you please repeat that? Delta 710, Salt Lake Center, clearance on request, standby. But yeah, so far everything's holding up good. 
515 followers, 38 subscribers to the channel. I appreciate every single one of you guys. Thank you for coming in today. A little over an hour deep in our citation. Took off out of Sedona. So if you didn't catch the beginning of the stream, definitely run it back. Sedona looks really good in the sim. And then Jackson Hall is also, of course, going to look very good in the sim. So uh, we picked a couple of nice places to fly between in our CJ4 this evening. Really show off the quality of the visuals in this sim. Not that we need more FedEx examples of it, but I enjoy it. So I'm going to keep doing the, the flying that I enjoy. Um, the big thing also we got coming up, I know a lot of... A little fast. Picked up just a little bit of speed there. That was the overspeed warning that we got. I'll rectify that. Anyways, since most of the people on board tonight are uh, Virtuous Day Flying Club members, we just want to go ahead and put a reminder out there that coming up on Christmas Day, that's this coming Friday. I can't believe it's almost Christmas already, guys. It's almost the end of the year. What a crummy year it's been because of COVID, so I'm not super mad about it ending, but uh, we got California Christmas Virtuous Day Flying Club event coming up uh, on Christmas Day. Again, if you're a Flying Club member and you participate in this event, you're going to be eligible to win one of two $25 Amazon and or xplane.org gift cards that I'll be giving away. One will be courtesy of me, the other one courtesy of John Smith, Jay Smitty on Twitch. Um who was gracious yeah, enough to add eight, another eight, gift eight, card eight, to the giveaway. So uh, if you're a Flying Club member, eight, definitely eight, if you're, you know, obviously family comes first with Christmas, and if you got plans and everything, you know, I don't want you to make this a top priority. You know, you got family or friends over, you got plans going on, stuff like that, that comes first. But if you're around on Christmas night in the evening, you got nothing else to do, plans are over, or you're just kind of stuck alone because of COVID or what have you, you know, feel free to join in. Be happy to have you. you. Got a chance to win a $25 gift card. Uh, if you're not already a member of the Virtue Safe Flying Club, definitely check it out. The link to the Discord has been pulled up by Streamlabs right there, courtesy of myself. Uh, you do need to be a Vatsim member to join, but if you're a Vatsim member and you enjoy GA flying, take a look at the Discord. Check it out. Good group of folk in there. Pretty sure most of, if not all, the people watching my stream are already involved in it, but if you're not, definitely check it out. If I'm not mistaken, Chad, I believe this is Salt Lake City coming up here. Pretty sure this is the Salt Lake City area that we're coming up on over here with that lake right there. So uh, that's pretty cool. Looks good from above. We'll get into a wing view when we get a little bit closer. I have flown into the Salt Lake City Airport before in real life. It's very nice. Did not get to stay there, but um, it was pretty cool visually flying into there, flying over the lake. I wonder if we're going to be getting close here to a descent soon, chat. We're about 30 minutes out. So I wouldn't be surprised if we do start to get a descent here fairly soon. Delta 1 Alpha, holding short runway 1 9. Delta 1 Alpha, Roger, continue. So it's almost time to do work again. So while, before we get to the descent, let's do a couple things here. We're going to go ahead in the box. 
and go ahead and get the approach and all that information squared away. The wind over at Jackson Hole, 2606. Temperature is 3. So we will send that to the box. We got a ref of 104, approach speed of 110. So that's going to be in our box now. So we got that taken care of. And let's go ahead and... So I put the ILS Zulu, but we're probably going to get the ILS Yankee with the approach controller, with the center controller actually being online, so... They're both the same in terms of the frequency and approach course. So let's go ahead and just brief the Yankee. And we'll actually go ahead and uh, put that into the box. We'll put the Yankee into the box here. I'll take care of that in a second. But, um, all right, ILS-19, frequency 1091. 187 final approach course. That'll all be taken care of by the airplane. Another nice little feature. Um, we got a Mauser lighting system, looks like. Missed approach will climb to 14,000 on the Jackson Hole VOR radial 192 to kick kick the intersection and hold there. So quite a lengthy uh, way out and then a high climb in the hold, obviously, because it's a very mountainous area. You can see 13,770 is the highest obstacle as we're coming in through this valley here into Jackson Hole. And it is a... Uh, I believe a little bit of a steeper approach than normal um, going in here. Where, are we, where would we see that? Uh, I know where we would see it on the jet charts. I don't remember where we would see it on the neck charts. Doesn't really quite show here. But at any rate, when we get to Jackson Hole, it's going to obviously be a left turn off. There's only one way to go. Probably either make Alpha 2 or if we need the whole length, we'll go out Alpha 1 here and then taxi into the FBO here off of Charlie and Delta. Again, this is an airport that I have not been to in real life. I'm going to go ahead and put the, uh, the Yankee in here. We'll execute that. So, the ILS, the Yankee to runway 19 is in the box now. And that's the one that we briefed, so we'll plan on that. United 2132, radar contact, 3-0 miles south of the Eli, Weather is fine, so I don't expect us to have to do the missed approach, but we will be prepared should it be necessary. Here is Salt Lake City. Let's go ahead and get ourselves into the view over here. You can see the lake just off the wing there and the city down there just a little bit. Tell you what, it actually looked a little bit better from the external view, though, like this. Kind of give you the overview of Salt Lake City. Very nice. Like I said, I imagine we're going to probably get a descent here fairly soon. Getting close to uh, 25 minutes out from Jackson Hole. Salt Lake Center, Delta 724, push back to HLE 13, ready for taxi with information echo. with my view there a little bit. Whoops, a daisy. And one six left, talk about Echo Hotel, get right to the 767 on hotel for a double. The Salt Lake City Airport is right up here, Chen. You can just barely kind of make it out right here. Got a few, a couple guys on the ground over there at Salt Lake, it sounds like, as well as those guys on the ground over at Jackson Hole, keeping our center controller nice and bitty, but this center controller is 
sounds like he's handling it like a champ so far. Good for him. Really nice view of Salt Lake City there. Delta 1 to Alpha, so you can enter radar contact down. Delta 1 Alpha, passing 8500 climbing to 150. Delta 1 Alpha, climb maintain, but it's 370. Climb value of 370. A little fast, according to the airplane. There we go. It's the one thing about not having the auto throttle is you do have to kind of keep up on it like that. Hey, Just Simply Dave, thank you for coming in today. Good to see you, my friend. We're in the uh, Citation CJ4 once again, because I am obsessed with this girl. We are most of the way to Jackson Hole. Only about, uh, what are we looking at? About 25 minutes-ish, roughly, before we get into Jackson Hole. Maybe a little bit more when we, because we have a descent, so about 30 minutes, I'd call it, until we get into the Jackson Hole Airport. So you're here at the right time. Getting close to having to do work here with the descent. And there's Rob with the hat. Watch your speed. <laughs> Thank you, Rob. Much appreciated. She really does look good, don't she? Trying to get herself back on the course here a little bit. Correcting for that wind. What happened here? Need to apologize for the mess ups in ground at F Fog for the FNL. Always a good time when flight ships stop updating to a brand new controller. Thanks for the patience, positivity. It's really not a problem at all, just simply, Dave. Uh, you know, those things happen. I understand. I do a lot of the ATC on VATSIM too, so not a big deal at all. But uh, I appreciate the 1,000 bits, man. I thank you so much. Really do appreciate that. Appreciate you coming in. And I appreciate that ATC that you gave me on, uh, when was that? That was, I already forgot what day that was. I'm not going to lie, chat. Was it Sunday? I don't remember if it was Saturday or Sunday. But either way, uh, it was Friday. It was the FNL. It was Friday. Got it. Got it just before you typed it. But uh, thank you for that ATC, man. I appreciate it. And thank you for the bits. And, uh, happy holidays. Merry Christmas to you as well. Yeah, that event was a lot of fun. That controller that was at uh, Hilo was uh, definitely a little bit on the slam side, that tower controller. Probably could have used the ground controller over there as well. Uh, but uh, otherwise, for the most part, yeah, very, very nice stuff down there in Hawaii. And it looked really good in the Sims, so it's always a, it's always a positive. Because I am a visual kind of guy. Always appreciate the uh, the help with the ATC every time. So yeah, thank you so much, man. Echo Hotel for Delta Seven Two. Gotta love Vatsim. It's been a beautiful thing. I've been on Vatsim for uh, probably the better part of the last 13 years of my life now, and I love enjoyed every minute of it. Um, so uh, and I, I really honestly, like I said, it has helped me with my career in terms of getting comfortable with radios and different things like that and also just the fact that I haven't really flown a whole lot this year chat um, because of the injury that I had at the beginning of the year and then because of COVID making it so that there's really not any flying in New York for my company um, I've only flown 12 hours in real life this entire year of 2020 
Uh, so it's been a rough year for that, but thankfully having the flight simulator, being able to go on VATS and do stuff like this, it helps to keep me mentally in it. Like, I'm still flying, still able to kind of, you know, hone my skills and keep it, you know, in a, in a way, so I'm very thankful to have uh, the sim and thankful to have VATS sim and all the people that I control and everything like that to kind of keep it going, kind of keep my head in it. Like I said, when I'm not really doing a whole heck of a lot of flying these days because of COVID. Yeah, it's uh, not not exactly a banner year for me for flying. I'm, the first half of the year, January to June, I was dealing with the recovery from the shoulder surgery that I had uh, from the injury I had sustained last year. Uh, and then the last half of the year has just been no flying really to be had because there hasn't been any demand in New York because of the shutdowns and because of COVID and everything like that. So it's uh, it's been rough. No way around it. It's been rough. Haven't got a whole lot of real world flying in this year, but 2021 hopefully be better. I'm eventually going to be going to training, I think in the end of February, uh, for the Embraer 175. So I'll be getting a slight upgrade in aircraft. And uh, after that, I should be able to hold a line, even though I'll be commuting to Chicago, which is going to be a pain in the butt, but we'll manage as best I can. Um, but uh, should be more flying to be had once uh, that all kind of goes down, so I'm looking forward to that. You can see this is a little bit of a glitch here with this uh, mod chat that we're kind of noticing right now. Where it's kind of going a little bit right and then a little bit left and a little bit right trying to keep an eye on the course um, up at altitude here. That is a, just a little bit of a glitch that's going on with this uh, mod right now. You can see how it's kind of rocking back and forth a little bit. Unfortunately, and there's a lot of uh, aircraft that are loud, but the controller is so quiet that I have to turn up my V-Pilot volume just a little bit. So I apologize in advance for some of the other pilots being loud, but I need to be able to hear the controller. Chicago, your home? Yeah, I'll be uh, commuting so to Chicago. Chicago uh, will be my new base uh, once I finish training on a 175, at least for now. Heavy, Nick Reisel, thanks for coming in today, my man. Good to see you. In the slotation once again. And you guys can see the little bit of oscillating going on left and right. A little bit of a glitch with the mod. Nothing that's going to really kill us, though. Southwest 6758, uh, Salt Lake Center. Uh, good day. Uh, requesting IFR to Las Vegas. Very close to Philly. Good job, man. I hope you get it soon. I really do. Okay, I believe there were two aircraft calling at one southwest at 6758 where it's on the left. And uh, the other aircraft calling was their home. Roger. Wish you the best of luck, my man. I hope you get it too. I'm gonna also, I think, chat turn down the aircraft volume a little bit just so I can hear this controller. He's really quiet. Turn it down just a little bit so I can hear him slightly better.
Gonna, gonna rock us to sleep with this little bit of oscillation that the uh, airplane has given us right now. I'm maintaining 5030 United 234. Delta 9871, welcome to Salt Lake Tax Parking via Echo. Delta 724, runway 16 left, let's take off. 16 left, let's take off of 724. Thanks for putting that shout out in there, K Got a little lake right here, chat. Delta one six two nine nine hundred. Delta one six two can maintain but we'll reach up Three seven zero delta one six two. Looks like all those departures are going out of Jackson Hole now. Going to clear out just for us. Arrow 108, runway 19. Runway 19, for pickup, runway 19. Want to do that Seattle event. Kenny Monster, oh no, not the overcooked potatoes. I do like my potatoes more country though, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a, I'm a well done potato kind of guy, personally. I like my fries, my hash rounds, all that. I like them nice and crispy. Oh, well, yeah, okay, well. Southwest 6758, request for Ripperoni, chat. Southwest 6758, We are, I believe, Alpha 4. Southwest 6758, uh, the ramp's on the full call ready for taxi. Alright, well, we'll call for taxi 4. Delta 724, so I extend your radar contact down. Delta 724, passing 7.2. Delta 724, there's our top go, climb 18, but 230, 240. Got Taku 230, remain lower speed, 724. Tell you what, Chad, I'm going to turn the music off too. One last thing to listen to here while I'm trying to focus on this uh, arrival that we're going to be doing shortly, since this controller is still pretty quiet. So we'll cut the music. We'll go with just the sounds, the sweet, sweet sounds of aeroplane. In real life, it would be nighttime right now, but I decided to do the daytime. However, the weather is real weather. Active Sky is cooking. Or, uh, Active Sky. Rex Weather Force 2020, excuse me, is cooking, so. And Jeff 197, uh, I'm going to go a bit of a weird gear. Is there any chance to uh, sign out and sign back into the network? I'd imagine we're gonna get a descent here soon, chat. Only 11 minutes out from the field, apparently. I know we don't have to descend Arrow super one, far. Eight, 
Getting a little bumpier as we're getting closer to Jackson Hole 2. And Salt Lake Center, Delta 710 holding short, runway 16 left. Delta 710, runway 16 left, take off. Clear for takeoff, Delta 710, 16 left. Center, you have lower for Citation 124, Mike Charlie. Citation 124, Mike Charlie, descend that pub. Discretion 1815, 15,000. Citation 4, Mike Charlie. 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, And we're going to need to descend harder than that. Let's go down to 2,000 feet a minute. And November 124, Mike Charlie advised me of the Jackson weather and your approach. Before Mike Charlie, we have the weather at Jackson Hole. We'd like the uh, ILS Yankee to 1 Niner. November 124, Mike Charlie, I have your approach. Thank you. Oh, we're in business, chat. Got the descent going. Got the approach request in. Oh, getting a little bit too fast there. Sorry, plane. Let's go down a little bit more aggressively here. We'll do 2,200 feet a minute. Field elevation 6,451 over at Jackson Hole. So we did brief and we will play in the ILS Yankee. Delta 710, Salt Lake Center, radar contact south. And Delta 710 passing through 7,000. Delta 710, common maintain, but with 230. Let's go down a little bit harder still. Go 2,500 feet per minute on the descent. 230, Hawk 2, and delete speed restrictions for Delta 710. Nice and closer to these nice snow-capped mountains out here as we make our way towards Jackson Hole. And the airplane is doing a little bit of a correction again, as we expected. She ain't the perfect bird. She's definitely way better than she was. JetBlue really looks sharp in the green. Like I said, I think the green is my favorite. We've done the blue and the red and now the green, and I think I like the green the most here, chat. Delta 710. Quick view out the wing. This will probably be the last time we do the wing view here, chat, because I'm going to have to be focused, as you can hear, on the uh, speed of the airplane. Frontier flight 365, contact Denver, Denver, 1 to 2, 7. Deluki, Delute T, however you say it. Thank you for the uh, follow. I appreciate it. Thanks for coming in today. Not sure how to say it, your uh, Twitch name there. I apologize. I'm pretty good at butchering Twitch names, unfortunately. But uh, thank you for that follow. I appreciate it. Let's see, altimeter over at Jackson Hole is 3006. So I'm going to put, uh, well, we're not really close to flight level 180 yet. So I'm going to hold off on that, actually, putting the altimeter in. Getting a little bouncy, though, here, chat. Look at the. Uh, Turbulence has definitely picked up a notch as we're getting lower here. November, going into Jackson Hole. Charlie, turn right, heading one four, correction zero four zero. Vectors for the approach. You can expect to conduct the approach from the four. All right, zero four zero heading. Um, and uh, what was the? Where did you want us to go? Expect for the approach from Dunor. Four Mike, November four Mike Charlie approach. Four Mike Charlie, plan that. Thank you. Which we do have that in the box, chat. 
Delta November whiskey. So heading 040, which means we can immediately... Oh, no, we're going to stay in the nav, actually, because we're eventually going to go to... Um, DNW. From DNW, then it'll be Court. So I'm going to go ahead and put this right here for now. And then I'll put it up when he gives us direct to that. So it looks like we're going to, like I said, we're going to do the full approach then. So if we look over here, where he's going to eventually get us to Denor, we have to be at or above 11. At or above 11, you can see right here. Uh, and then it's going to be uh, Quirt, also at or above 11 for the final initial approach fix here. And then from Quirt to uh, Fumpo, the final approach fix, above 9700, and that's when we'll pick up the ILS from there. So we're going to be doing, it looks like, the, uh, the full approach there. No need for the procedure turn. No need for the uh, procedure turn, though. If you see right here, it says no PT from uh, Janur, so uh, we will not have to do the procedure turn on the ILS there. Delta seven ten, climbing eighteen. Let's watch our speed here. Up to three six zero for Delta seven ten. At 060, radar contact, 17 miles east of the Williston DOR. You can see a lot of snow uh, on the mountaintops over here. I like that the sim has that effect, chat. Again, that's something that X-Plane 11 severely lacked, but uh, definitely uh, Microsoft Flights in 2020, having the seasonal view in there with like the snow on the mountains and everything is a really nice touch. It is going to be a bit of a bumpy ride getting in here, as you could expect in a mountainous area, so not too, too surprising overall, to be honest, chat. November 9 or 9 or 9, send that pop description. Maintain 1 5, that was Jack and Officer 3006. That mic will start down to 1 5, though. And I turned the music off so I could hear the controller a little bit better, and we can hear the airplane a little bit better as well, too, with that. And look at that with the mountains right out there. That looks really nice. Oof. This is going to be a fun approach visually going into Jackson Hole. Sub, 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 don't nose over. Good fixings. Thanks for coming in today, my friend. Appreciate the subscription, the resubscription. Three months, you've got your two stripes now, good fixins. You've got the second stripe on your epaulet for three months. Thank you so much for the support. I appreciate it. You're just in time, too. We are descending into Jackson Hole with Salt Lake Center. It's so 3006 for the altimeter. Hello. Three double oh six. We'll set this also three double oh six. Very good. We're gonna reduce our descent rate here. Now that we're getting close to the fifteen hundred feet, fifteen thousand feet. Excuse me, not fifteen hundred feet. White Cap Mountains. And the sim does a really good job of depicting that chat. Much better than uh, X-Plane 11 did. Gotta leave for hockey in a little bit. Played in a few weeks. Oh, yeah. Well, I haven't played in over a year, so... Lucky you. I still have not... I still haven't really gotten back to playing. I don't... I'm still not going to put 100% confidence in my shoulder just yet to get back to playing hockey. I think that's something that's going to have to wait. Uh, maybe another, like, e half a year or so before I really get back into playing goalie. But, um, yeah, I'm pretty jealous of you right now, not gonna lie. Not gonna lie.
Ice hockey. Ice hockey. I'm an ice hockey goalie, or I used to be until I got hurt. I haven't played in over a year, and hopefully I'll get back to it at some point, though. I'm just still trying to build up more confidence in the, the shoulder post-surgery before I really go back to strapping the pads back on. Sixteen for fifteen, chat. One to go. Ooh, the weather is changing. There it is. We knew as we got closer to Jackson Hole that the overcast was going to come, and it came. That's, that's what she said. A little bit of sim lag to go with it because of the freaking clouds here. We're going to go ahead and put the ice on just in case, so I don't forget that. Imagine we're going to get a turn here fairly soon. Played and officiated both field and ice hockey. Nice. 22 years. Look at that. That's impressive, actually. That's awesome. Takes a special kind of crazy to play goalie. I am a special Number kind of crazy. Mike Charlie, clear direct to the war. All right, direct to Noor. To Noor out above 15,000 cleared ILS Yankee one niner. Citation one two four Mike Charlie. November four correction November nine nine or Mike turn right heading at zero five zero vectors for the approach and uh, the approach. Now, Mike will turn right to 050, request ILS Yankee 100. November 9 or 9 or Mike, you can expect to conduct that approach from this floor. Mike will expect to be able to get the Yankee 100. Mike, then I don't think it's 49. Oh, you know what? That's actually different than the DNW 8, so let's go ahead and get the direct to Denor here. Delta 45, that's approved, report back. We want Denor there and then to court. So let's go ahead. We're direct Denor at this time. Delta 23, Very good. Level. We need to be at or above 15,000, which we are at already. So then after Denor. Then we can go down for uh, no lower than 11,000 for court. So at Denor, so I'm just going to set 11,000 now, and then when we cross Denor, we'll uh, descend down to 11,000 for court. Um, also, when we get to Denor, I'm going to definitely start to reduce my speed. You have a good night and Merry Christmas, United. Uh, 234. Airbus 80 Tango Zulu, contact Denver Center 127.65. Yeah, hockey is a fast paced sport and a physical sport. Can't deny either one of those facts. Well, we still got 24 miles to uh, Denor, so I'm going to put that speed back up. Okay, JetBlue 197, uh, Roger, you uh, were responding. Is the FMC much? Oh, yeah. But, um, the FMC, the VNAV, everything about it is way some, better now, uh, you, uh, uh, Jay Smitty. It's, uh, it is a functional out, airplane now. Package. It still has and, some glitches uh, here and there, but uh, it is definitely a functional airplane now. And uh, that's why I've been flying it so much, because I'm really enjoying it. We are definitely in the soup. Delta 845, welcome back. And JetBlue 197, uh, Lake Center, Ida. Awful lot of epaulets in this chat. I love to see it. Thank you guys, like I said, all so much for the, uh, the support that you've, uh, 
provided this channel for the last year and change now that I've been affiliated. I really do appreciate it. I like seeing all those uploads in the chat. Good fixing. Sorry you can't stick around for the landing, but you have fun playing hockey tonight, sir. Be safe. Don't get hurt. Score a goal or two. JetBlue 197, reset transponder, block 6042. Hmm, a little bit of a weather change right here. Better visuals this way. Look at that. See, we really don't want to go any lower until we get to Denor because we still got plenty of mountains to work with right here until we get into that valley. get to Denora, I'm going to slow the speed down significantly, and we'll start that descent to uh, yeah, one one eleven thousand. Contact to their direction six zero miles northwest of Mile City D O R one. We're going to go ahead and start that speed reduction down here now. Delta one fifty two contact Denver Center one two seven point six five. Two seven uh, point six five four Delta one fifty two. Thanks. Bye. And sorry for the lack of music, but this controller is a little on the quiet side, so we wanted to uh, get as little sound interference as possible. Um, also, so you guys can hear the airplane a little better, I'm going to turn the airplane volume up just a smidge. And November 124, Mike Charlie, SA airspeed. Doing uh, 260 right now, you need slower. Uh, November 124, Mike Charlie, yeah, negative. We're going to slow down probably to 210 once we pass the north here in a second. I'm going to Mike Charlie Roger, thank you. November 9 or 9 or Mike, cleared direct to Denor, cross Denor, at or above, 15,000. Cleared ILS Yankee, runway 19 or approach, do not exceed 230 knots. 9 or 9 or Mike, uh, we'll proceed direct to Denor. Right, there we go, we're going to slow down. Cleared we'll start ILS this descent down to 111,000. Uh, not to exceed 230 knots. Head in the clouds 2020. Thanks for coming in today. Good to see you, my friend. Yes, we are. You're just in time, too. We're coming to the end of the flight here. We're going to be doing a landing in Jackson Hole pretty soon, so you are just in time for that. I mean, look how awesome that looks with the mountains. We're going to shoot the valley right here into Jackson Hole. This sim looks pretty darn good. Oh yeah, let's turn those seatbelts on. Good call. May I have your attention, please? The captain has turned on the seatbelt sign. Please fasten your seatbelt and shoulder on the seatbelt sign. Yeah, you're, you're right there. Thank you. Thank you. You heard the man okay, recording. Okay. Man recording.
12 for 11. Altitude. Oh, Delilah came barging and left. She barged in, saw that I wasn't going to pay any attention to her because I'm focused on a landing, and then she left right out of the room, chat. <laughs> Funny dog. 45, contact Seattle Center, 124.2. Over to Seattle, 124.2. One last view outside before we focus in on the approach. Look at that shot right there. I'm actually going to make the sim pause for a second while I take a screen of that. I had to, chat. it looked just too good. Let's go ahead and put this baby in approach. Dave, hey, MSP, thanks for coming in today. Yep, uh, once I land here in Jackson Hole, I'm probably going to give you guys over to Slan Alpha since he's also flying the CJ-4. So I'm basically just the warm-up guy. The undercard, if you will. You guys will get the main event with Slan Alpha here shortly. My sim is a little bit on the lag side right now because I believe the weather is updating. That's kind of annoying, so hopefully that'll clamp down pretty quickly here. But the localizer is capped and the glide slope is capped. And let's go ahead and get the flaps in the first notch. If you guys want to start uh, putting in the landing rate guesses, now's the time. Because I will be landing shortly. Again, no prizes, just pride. But if you're the closest to the landing rate, then uh, you, you can feel that pride. I should have the landing rate meter up. I did activate it, so hopefully it'll work. You don't have to put the uh, exclamation point predict. You can just put in a number. It doesn't have to be a negative. Or, it could be a negative or positive number. It doesn't matter. It all equals the same thing to me. Whatever you want to do. I do have the uh, runway in sight up ahead there. Coming up on the final approach fix, let's put the gear down. Yep, get those guesses in now. Landing rate guesses, now is the time. You got 10 miles before I'm on the ground here in Jackson Hole. Okay, you don't need the exclamation point predict. You can just put in a number. Don't even need a negative in front of it. It'll be implied, because I don't think I can land with a positive number. Oh, yeah. Looks beautiful coming in here. You're not wrong. Look at that. Mountains are... The clouds are just in the mountains there. Oh, yeah. She's a beauty. Look at that. Right out there. Whew. Should really be focused on uh, the task at hand, though, here, shouldn't I? It's hard, hard to ignore that uh, the beauty off the right there, though. It really is hard to ignore. Again, an airport that I've never flown Aero into in real life, and I really wish I could have, because it's pretty nice. Have a landing clearance for 4 Mike Charlie? November 4 Mike Charlie, we're my 1 Niner. The wind is. One nine clear to land. Citation for my Charlie. Thanks. Grand Tetons. Guess that's the name, according to Steve PHL. I have no idea what they're actually called. If that's what they're called, that's awesome. Look at the little river coming down into the lake here too. That's really nice detail. But again, I should really be focused up on uh, the task at hand here. Because I am going to turn the autopilot off. Fly it by hand. Delta 
Slow down to our ref speed of about 110 knots was the V approach speed rather, excuse me, in ref 104. We are clear to land 1-9. Wow, this is a really awesome view coming for this approach, Chad. This is probably one of the better ones that I've done in the sim. Now I just need to put a good landing on it to seal the deal. And I really wish I could have flown into this airport in real life. Hopefully I will be able to in the future. Only state in the contiguous U.S. I've never been to Chad is Wyoming. Otherwise I've been to the other 47. I have not been to Hawaii or Alaska either yet. Getting blown off here just a little bit. Let's try and get ourselves back on the center line here. bit out of trim. There we go. That's a little better. <laughs> Rob Valkyrie says this is real life. <laughs> well, let's get a good landing in for the ladies and gentlemen in the stream tonight. We got this mic. Let's go. Make sure we don't float her. She's a big floater. We're going to land, almost looks like we're going to land flat when we land at Chet. Power's coming out all the way. It says minus 88 feet per minute is what it says. It sounded a lot harder, I'll be honest. It says minus 88 feet per minute. Did Rob Valkyrie get that 100% right? For Mike Charlie, welcome to Jackson Hole Tax Parking. Hi, Alpha. Good night. Alpha to Parking for Mike Charlie. Thanks for the ATC. And November for Mike Charlie. That's Alpha to Parking. Alpha to Parking, yes, sir. Wow. Rob Valkyrie with the last second guess gets it right in on time and then gets it 100% accurate with a minus 88. It's as almost as if he whispered to the uh, landing rate meter and said, this is what you're going to be. Delta 724, contact LA. It's very impressive stuff, Rob. You can take that one to the bank. You're going to have to make sure you someone clip that for Rob so we can show it to him later. So we'll just go ahead and pull right into the GA ramp here. And we're going to go into the drone cam and take some views in here for sure. Guess we're going to park at an angle like the rest of these guys, because this is, seems to be the way they're parking here. So I'm just going to stick it right here, I suppose. And we'll call it good. <laughs> Rob Valkyrie is going to play some lottery tickets right now, chat. All right. Got her all shut down. You can go ahead and get up out of your seats now, people. Let's go into the showcase cam. We'll go free cam, drone cam. Put a little oomph on the drone cam here. So we could do a little bit of exploring of Jackson Hole. So we're here. It's good. I really like it in the green. I think I'm going to stick with the green livery from now on, Chad. I think it looks the best in that. But here we are, Jackson Hole. God, it looks so beautiful. Like I said, I really would at some point in my life like to be able to come out to this area and check it out. So it looks pretty neat. And the way that you got the cloud effect with the mountains right over here, 
We're going to really amp up the uh, drone cam all the way to 100% here so we can do some November 99 or Mike, runway 1 9 or so Faster exploring. Runway 9 or Mike, uh, clear to land 1 9. But yeah, the sim does a phenomenal job in this area. Our buddy Steve just got cleared to land too, so we're going to actually probably hang out and watch out for him. We'll wait for him to land, and then once he lands, then we will uh, hand the reins over to Slant Alpha Adventures. So he is flying this airplane as well. How's the airport? The airport itself is kind of meh. Just kind of generic. Nothing super crazy about that. But um, the, the area itself is pristine. Little lake over there. Got the valley goes all the way through here. Very, very, just excellent. Excellent little area right here. So like I said, we'll go ahead and wait for our buddy Steve PHL to come inbound since he's been cleared to land. I don't know exactly how far out he is, but uh, we'll hang tight for a second and wait for him. I'm going to talk about a few things real quick while we're waiting for him to come in, chat. Um, first of all, thank you so much for everybody that's coming in today. Good fixings with the subscription just simply day with a thousand bits, my buddy Ian Pilot Twenty Three. Thank you for the resubscription as well. I appreciate that. Appreciate all the support. Horizon Air Twenty One Twenty Lake Center One District. Whoa, wait a second. Who had minus eighty eight? Also, apparently two people got it right. No, no way. Dave MSP Solid also had minus eighty eight. He did. Wow. So both Dave MSP and Rob Valkyrie. And I just went through the chat, and this is correct. Both guessed minus 88, and the landing rate was minus 88. That is unbelievable. Wow. That's bonkers. I don't think we've ever seen two people get the correct guess. In any stream, I don't remember any stream where two people got the exact guess spot on. That's that is uh, amazing. Up oh, here is our buddy Steve coming in. Horizon Air Twenty One Twenty Eight Valley Center, welcome. Look at that. Nice. Again, he looks like he's bouncing around, but that's just the vats and refresh rate. Excellent stuff. Excellent stuff. Welcome back. Welcome to Jackson Hole, Steve PHL. Thanks for joining me on this flight this evening. Alright, real quick, for the Virtual USA Flying Club members in the chat, one more reminder. Coming up on Christmas night, Day night, Christmas Day night, I said that right, 8 p.m. Eastern, we got the California Christmas. If you uh, do not have any plans with family or friends, because um, family and friends obviously take priority, chat, but uh, if you don't, uh, if you want to join the Virtual USA Flying Club, we're doing an event from Yosemite Monmouth to uh, Mojave Air and Space on Christmas Day in the evening. Uh, we'll be giving away two uh, $25 Amazon gift cards to participating club members. So you do have to participate in order to get that. We do also have an event on Friday, January 1st, the first day of the new year. Uh, our buddy Eric Flight, Eric LeMaire, is going to be hosting the Winter Wonderland Fly-In into Rutland, Vermont. So those are the two events that we currently have on the VAT USA calendar. If you're not already a... On the VAT USA calendar, on the Virtuous USA Flying Club calendar, if you're not already a Virtuous USA Flying Club member... I'm going to pull up the link to the Discord there. If you are a VATSIM pilot, VATSIM member, and you enjoy GA flying, then come check out the Virtue Safe Flying Club. we got a great group of guys and girls in there. We do events like that at least three or four times a month. We'd be happy to have you join in for the fun. I know a lot of the people that watch this stream are uh, members of the Flying Club. So let's go ahead. We're here. We're done. Let's go get uh, Slan Alpha Adventure, his host. Um, he is also flying the CJ4. It looks like he's just taxiing out for departure. So we're getting over there just in the nick of time, chat. Just in the nick of time, we're getting over to Slant Alpha. 
Everyone tell him that I said hello. I'm going to join him, jump into his chat as well. Uh, Steve PHL, thank you for flying along. All the air traffic trollers, if you happen to be in the channel, thank you for the ATC once again this evening. As always, I appreciate you guys on VATSIM. Everyone else in the chat, thank you for all the support. Thank you for coming in today. I really do appreciate it. Go enjoy Slant Off Adventures. Have a great night. Stay safe. Delta 2326, contact LA Center, 125.8.